Yes, uh, today we are going to see uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Just um, how it looks like uh, SSM. I'm launching SQL Server Management Studio now. And uh, Let's start uh, connect to the engine. We have connected to the SQL Server database. Let me put it together here. We have few databases here, but uh, if I pull down the query editor. The, um, <coughs> we will just uh, don't use we have two ways of showing what kind of databases we have here but uh, let's find out uh, select uh, star name from master from master uh, dot um, dbo dot uh, sys databases Let's see if I execute that. We can see that we have, uh, we of course, we have master temp DB model uh, MSDB, but in addition, we have uh, the DW, DWQ is why the world importers, the Northwind pubs, and I even installed the uh, Sakila here. Let's see, Sakila and Adver Adventure Work uh, 2014. What if we wanted to add uh, Adventure Works uh, 2017 uh, to our uh, databases here? Uh, we head back to we head to the to the internet and see if we can get the files. Let's pull down here <coughs> and it's say uh, Adventure Works. I just hit that and uh, let's forward to 2017. And let's see if we can um, find them here. We see that we have uh, the OLTP and uh, the OLAP data warehousing. So we pull down both. It's like um, let's pull that this uh, one here. These are backup files. Let's download them. And for now, I'm going to put them in um, in documents if I want. Let's put them in document folder. So I save, and I would also download uh, the 2017 uh, regular back OLTP online transact online um, transaction processing. And uh, for this one, is for the data warehousing, data analysis, online analytical processing, all up and OLTP. We download both and we install them here. So, when I go back now to the databases, if I um, right click here, if I hit uh, restore database, we save from the device, let's pull it from the device here. And we have to browse and if we, if we try to browse and hit add, we see that he's pointing to a backup folder. So if we go through this, we can see that he's located at a folder called Program Files, MS SQL Server, MS SQL 14, SQL and MS SQL Backup. We have to have our file here. So apparently we do not have the 2017 DW we just downloaded so I have to cancel out that one and uh, go to my um, system files the 
if you go to the system files, if I just copy this one, not moving it, I'm copying it and uh, paste it to that folder. So we said C program files. Let's go back and see what it was saying. Eh? Program files, let's see. MS SQL server. MS SQL server 14. MS SQL backup. I'm going to paste it here. So now that we have it there, we can now go and um, try to restore it. And uh, this is the one we just uh, downloaded. And uh, we hit OK. And uh, we go ahead and see what happens. So that one looks like restored, and we go ahead and um, try the other one, the regular one, OLTP. So another restore here. I'm going to go to the device, and I'm going to add uh, the regular one. Hit OK. And OK again. Nice. So if we rerun our uh, command here, we see that we have added uh, Adventure Work uh, DW 2017 and Adventure Works 2017 is not that if we just drop down here also it's another way to see if we refresh we can see them here already there so now if we want to know uh, the table name in a data the how many what are tables we have in a database here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the table name Now that we have um, our uh, name of the databases, so I'm going to say from. Let's take the one of these we have here and copy it here and paste it. Which is the W17 dot. Now we have to see here that's a, that's a information schema tables the tables now we have to specify the type of table where table type the table type is is equal to uh, base table we are looking for base tables so if we run that we see that we have all these tables in that one quite few of them so another way to say to see that one also is if we come to databases here we select ours and we drop down we go to tables and we have the tables here of course it's uh, the deep owner I mean now another thing that's uh, if we want to see the columns also we can do the same thing we just select to start from information schema dot columns where the table name is our table name like uh, the table we want to look like dim account and um, the same way if we drill down here we see columns we see we can see all the columns also so that was uh, SQL Server Management Studio just in a nutshell so we can use these and um, uh, process our uh, queries thank you